So I get asked quite a lot um, about how I got into the work that I do and what I do actually. A lot of people don't understand what it is that I do. So I wanted to first start by explaining how I got into uh, being a metaphysical counsellor. Um, and I started out about 11 years ago now working uh, with children, with young children, preschool children. And I started my career with children working uh, with those who predominantly had special needs, so lots of children with um, autism, Asperger's, ADHD, and over the last 11 years that's been the main part of, of my work with young children, it's, it's been helping them to develop to the best of their ability. Um, and over time, I've gone into more complex needs, working with children with much more complex needs, not just special needs. So I started out 11 years ago working um, locally at a local preschool, and almost straight away, I started my degree. So I have a BA in honours in childhood and youth studies. You can see all my certificates on the wall. And um, I loved it. Loved the job, loved working with the children. Um, particularly loved working with children with autism and Asperger's. And it was about five or six years ago now, a friend of mine handed me a book called The Horse Boy, which is um, predominantly about uh, shamanism, a spiritual belief system, uh, horses and the power and the way that they can be used to help children with autism in particular uh, to, to learn and develop. This is a very specific way that, that it works. Uh, and I loved it. I read the book and then read the second book and looked into it quite a lot at the time. And the same friend that handed me the book uh, introduced me to Wendy Price, who I went on to train with. Uh, and I remember going up to her at the yard in, in Ockham in Surrey um, five years ago and falling in love with her, falling in love with her horses and saying to her, I'm really interested in your training programme that you do. Life happened, it took me two years before I actually finally turned up on the day in uh, May 2017, I think it was, and started my training with her. Uh, training that took me again two, two years with her, but at that stage I'd completed my degree, I had my BA, um, and I went on to do the equine facilitator training with her, and loved it, loved every minute. Uh, I was thrown from horse 30 years ago, so actually it took me quite a lot of courage to turn up on day one and do my training with her and I loved it. But as much as I love being with the horses and love the process of training with her, actually what ran through all of the training was metaphysics, a spiritual belief system called metaphysics. Um, and I was just absorbed with metaphysics from the moment that I started to learn about it in 2017. And I think it was a bit of a pain for Wendy, if truth be told, and I used to ask her questions all of the time. What about this? What about this? And every single time she was able to answer everything that I asked her. And I think that's why I loved metaphysics from the get-go. It just made sense. Um, so I qualified with Wendy in 2018, another certificate on the wall, and um, went on to start my metaphysical training with the School of Metaphysics in the same year, 2018. Uh, and I did another two, two and a half years worth of training with them to become a metaphysical counsellor. Another certificate on the wall. Um, and I loved it. And I love doing it. And I love how it has helped me through all of that training to come and understand how my life has been shaped by all my belief systems that are in place. And how by just coming to learn to understand them, um, accept them as well, that you can really improve your life.